Hi, so this is gonna be like my uh, XOX Rufus tag response. And I'm basically doing this like right after watching the video. I mean, you can see I like just stopped her video and I was like, oh, I'm doing this. But um, anyway, so sorry for the weird background doodle. Um, so question number one, what is your the one thing you've always wanted to make but have failed every time you tried? Um, I'd have to say baking. I'm a horrible baker, even though like I love cooking and all of that. I mean, every time I cook, something goes wrong, like bake specifically every time. Just some little tiny detail goes wrong and they end up horrible. Cookies that have burnt completely, cupcakes that haven't even cooked, um, having everything ready and forgetting to have turned on the oven. I mean, it's really bad. <laughs> Uh, I've also failed at crochet. I'm really, really trying to learn, and I've seen videos, and my aunt tried to show me, and um, I have a book on, like, how to crochet, but I'm just, I'm really bad. I don't think I have the patience for it sometimes. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, for question number two, uh, who would you art trade with if you could? I have to say XOX Rufus, um, 0903 Photography, she's amazing, and she's so nice. Um, all of the craft community people, I think, are really nice most of the time. Um, Neon Hearts and Stars, even though she hasn't had many videos yet, like, I've seen her stuff, and I'm sure everybody will agree that she's amazing. Um, sorry I'm shaky, I'm, like, trying not to move, because I'm on a spinny chair. Um... I don't know, like, there's a lot. Funky Pink Gal, uh, Pink Gym Girl. Uh, I've traded a few times with Lexi MK Hotmail. She's got some really cool bracelets and stuff. And there's just, there's so many people. I love seeing their artwork and seeing their charms and everything and getting inspired by them. I think they're, like, so amazing. And, um, if you could only use three colors of art material or whatever, for whatever you do, which ones would you pick? And I'd have to say white, black, and red. And, like, probably a crimson red. Because I love the white and black. Like, how it makes charms look, um... Oh, and it's clay. How it makes charms look really classical and, like, very elegant sometimes. But I also like, um, crimson red because it gives it a bit of a spark and, like, energy. I don't know, like, <laughs> I really just like the colors. And actually, like... Um, even for this, I know it's not clay, but like for some candy, I use white, black, and red a lot of the time, because I think it just like makes it really pretty. Um, for question number four, when you fail at making something, do you give up or try or keep trying? I have to say, like um, most of the time, if I fail, I do the same thing as um, XOS Rufus. Like I get really upset because I always have this amazing idea or this amazing thought and it just never turns out the way I wanted to with clay and drawing and just a whole bunch of stuff but usually I'll give up for like a day or two but I'll go back and try again just because I can't get it out of my head or because I think after I fail I kind of try to figure out how I failed and like try and fix it um for question number five do you hoard your charms or creations or do you not really mind like I guess I'd have to explain a little bit I do hoard them because I keep them all in boxes but <clears throat> excuse me but if like I don't mind giving them away and I really like giving them to my friends and to people who like them but secretly I always make like a copy of the charm or whatever and I give the best one to my friends so I mean I guess that's the good thing but when I give that one to my friends or family members or whoever I always keep the extra one that I made just because I like having the charm like I like being able to see all the charms I've ever made and stuff like that um so hopefully you enjoyed the weird background of my unfinished doodle and um yeah, <laughs> this is my response, video response to XOS Rufus's tag. Hope you like it. Bye.